Turning now to the fate of the race, President Biden insisting he will not drop out despite the growing number of members in his own party questioning his mental fitness. And it comes ahead of the high stakes interview tonight that you'll only see on Local 10. Our DC Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy is live at the White House with more. Ben. Eden Nicole, President Joe Biden told voters that he can still do the job and won't let a 90 minute debate stop him. President Joe Biden walked off Air Force One Friday to hit the campaign trail in Wisconsin. My friends, I'm in Wisconsin for one reason, because we're going to win Wisconsin. He faced supporters in Madison for a critical rally in the battleground state as the commander in chief vows to stay in the 2024 race, despite concerns and panic among his party following the poor debate performance. I can't say it was my best performance. We love it, Joe. Okay. But ever since then, there's been a lot of speculation. What's Joe going to do? Is he going to stay in the race? Is he going to drop out? What's he going to do? Well, here's my answer. I am running and going to win again. Donors and allies are watching his remarks closely, including during an exclusive one-on-one -on -one with ABC's George Stephanopoulos, his first interview since the debate. It comes as this week Biden met with Democratic governors, where he reportedly told them that he needs more sleep and plans to stop scheduling events after 8 p.m. At least three congressional Democrats have called for Biden to step aside, while some top members of their party who still support the president say they would rally around Vice President Harris should Biden drop out. And I'm not letting one 90-minute debate wipe out three and a half years of work. And I and you are not finished yet. Now that path to victory come November is through the Midwest, which is why the campaign says stops like this in Wisconsin are so important. Reporting live at the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News.